If you're new to the channel, do subscribe for latest updates. Hello techies and welcome you all to Food Tech Nobody. I hope you all are doing well and taking good care of yourselves during this lockdown. In today's session, we will be discussing about water activity in detail. Various bacteria, yeast and mold require high water activity for their growth. This can be only controlled if the water level is lower to less than 0.85 this is as per FDA model food code. Now just for knowledge, let me tell you that Food and Drug Administration FDA for short publishes some codes for food commodities. This is scientifically, legally and technically sound way to update food safety rules. Now coming back to water activity, it can be defined as ratio of vapor pressure of water in solution denoted by PS to the vapor pressure of pure water, which is denoted by Pw. Hold on for a second. Some of you must be finding it difficult to recall that what was vapor pressure. So for those who know, I appreciate that, but I request your patience till I finish explaining what vapor pressure means. Now let's take an example to understand this better. Suppose we take some water in an open container and leave it on the ground for a day or two. What will happen? Obviously, it will dry out. Why? Because the liquid evaporates. Here, individual water molecule gain enough energy to escape from the liquid in the form of vapor. So now let's take a look at what will happen if we close the container and repeat the same process. Here the water molecules in this case are continuously evaporating but they cannot leave the system because they are kept in a closed container. Thus in this case vapors that are formed they exert a pressure on the surface of liquid. Now this pressure is known as vapor pressure. Now coming back to water activity it is ratio of vapor pressure of water in solution to the vapor pressure of pure water. Now in any food commodity bound water cannot evaporate. So now any vapor pressure which is created will be because of free water. As we all know, it can evaporate. Now here we are talking about the equilibrium conditions. So based on this, water activity can be related to equilibrium relative humidity with the help of this equation. To decrease the water activity in food commodities, Various preservation methods are used, as the name suggests, it prevents or protects the food from microbial attack. Similarly, in case of jams, jellies, etc., these are preserved using high concentration of sugar. It is called syruping. Whereas in various other products, salt is also added and the process is known as branning. The reason behind this is that when we add sugar or salt to our food commodity, they lower the water activity because they bind with free water, which makes it unavailable for microorganisms, means they cannot utilize it for their growth. Still not clear? Don't worry, let's take an example of fresh orange and processed orange jam or marmalade. Fresh fruit contains much more free water as compared to jam or marmalade. Even though they both contain fairly high amount of water content? Have you ever wondered why so? So this is because jams or mammalards contain high amount of bound water in comparison to fresh fruits. As I've already explained in the previous section that when we add sugar or salt to any food commodity, it binds with the free water and makes it unavailable for the growth of microorganisms. So from this, we can conclude that more free water in a food commodity, the better environment it is for the growth of microorganisms. So the scale of water activity ranges between 0 to 1, where water activity of pure water is 1 because the molecules are not bounded. Similarly, water activity for fresh fruits lies nearly around 0.95, in case of condensed milk, it is 0 0.80. In case of jellies, it is 0 0.65. And lowest increase of breadcrumbs, that is 0 0.3. Among these, fresh fruits are most susceptible to microbial growth and breadcrumbs being the least susceptible, which means it will have high keeping quality. 
So to conclude, water activity plays a very important role when it comes to texture of food, chances of bacterial spoilage, and also when it comes to controlling various chemical reactions. So with this, it's time to say goodbye. I hope you all have enjoyed this session. For more such videos, keep watching Food Tech Nobody. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you in the next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.